right guys welcome back to elite bite code if you're new here consider subscribing because on this channel you learn stuff like software development you get to know the tech news current tech news going on and um today we're going to talk about wire loops so before we do anything i just want to take you through the procedure of writing a while loop so in a while loop you would write while and then you put the condition and then write the statements into the calibrator. So in this example, we're gonna take a look at how we can print out five numbers within a while loop. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna declare an initializer and then a condition within the while loop. And then we're gonna print out with a console.log, which is a built-in method, JavaScript method, which is gonna pretty much write out um, a while loop and then the number or the step size that we're going to be at okay and in this case uh, we're checking that if w is less than five go ahead and write that number within the console.log and then thereafter do not forget to increment the initializer okay so the step is write the initializer and then use a condition to check for the initializer the current initializer and then increment that initializer so at line 56 zero will be incremented to one the plus plus is the same as w is equal to w plus one all right so uh, this is more of like a fancier way to write to add one onto a number so after that one is incremented it's going to go back to line uh, 54 and then one is going to be checked if it is less than five if it is then it's going to be printed out in the while loop and then it's going to be incremented again on line 56 so that's going to be the procedure over and over until it gets to five so when it gets to five it's going to come back to line 54 is five less than five technically not so the loop is going to stop on printing out uh, the five and then um, I mean the four and then that's pretty much it okay so I guess you get the idea here so um, let's move forward I'm gonna show you another example of how to print the total sum let's see how we can print out the total sum of anything using a while loop so what we do um, we declare a variable called total so in um, programming language that would be called the accumulator so normally you would just declare it as zero all right and then um, we're gonna obviously declare our initializer as well which is gonna be equal to zero so this so we are gonna declare an accumulator an accumulator is um, any um, variable or argument that we want to keep on accumulating as it stores um, a new value of something um, let me try to make this more simpler for you so if you want to make calculate the total of something first of all you declare it as zero then um, as long as you are accumulating adding on to or subtracting from that number that becomes an accumulator so the essence here is that you declare the variable called total which is an accumulator then you declare the condi the initializer which you're gonna use within your condition all right make sure you understand those two so how it works is that we're gonna check for the condition within the while loop at line 63 and then um get that initializer remember it starts at zero then get that initializer increment onto total all right it's gonna still be 10 so at line 65 you're gonna increment the initializer which is gonna become one and then you'll check if one is less than 10 if it is then add it onto the value that we have the accumulator so now the total is gonna be one all right then increment the condition the um initializer which is going to be one plus one and that that's two so two will again be checked for if it is less than 10 and then added on to now the current total value is one okay so two will be added on to 
one and then that would be three so this is gonna keep on recurring until we are at you know like nine plus one or something like that okay so make sure you can practice with this so you can get the difference and you're not confused about the initializer and the accumulator all right both of these work differently all right moving forward we can see that um now we can print the total take a look at this you can see here in the console that they are printing out pretty much perfectly you can see the loop which is printing out the numbers from one to four and we can see the total is total all right so right now we were working with writing stuff in the console so let's bump this up a little bit whereby we are gonna declare um a variable uh result and then we're gonna use the dom manipulation to push that sum into the browser so um i declared so i declared an id within the html and all i'm gonna do is to say let result equal to document dot get element by id then the name of the id while loop and then what i'm pretty much gonna do here is result dot inner text or you can use the text content is equal to total all right and then that way you can now see clearly that uh, we can now write within the browser so this was pretty much like the basics of while loops next we're going to talk about do while loops and we're going to see the difference between the two and how to use them so thank you for watching if you watch the video this far thank you we appreciate you you're one reason why this channel is growing if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and then also click the bell icon that way you get updates of every video we release thank you for watching and bye bye